Hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Moreland UDC. Today uh, we have another top down video. Um, I love this thing that I'm going to review now so I thought it's about time that I actually give this pen some credit. I've recently done a couple of different pen reviews which are very different to what I've done in the past um, but I think in the digital age, um, where everything is digital nowadays, the humble pen and paper is still in its element and is still a worthy um, addition to anybody's EDC. So we're going to get straight into the Sport. And I called it the Sport because it's called the Sport, but I'm intentionally skirting around the name okay so this is a german company so i guess if i was to read this in my english i would call it a corco but knowing that it's a german company and the w is probably a v then it would be a caveco um caveco um however you say it so i'll just pronounce it caveco if that's wrong then i do apologize to any of my uh, my german viewers so this is the Caveco Sport. Now, um, the Caveco company themselves have been around in, uh, since the 1930s. You know, they're, they're a very uh, well-known make of pens. Um, now, I like pens. I'm not massive into them. I couldn't really tell you more than that, but they're a, they're a very um, established company. In fact, so much so that if you do a Google search for Caveco Sport, um, the first website that comes up isn't um, the Caveco uh, website itself. It's actually a site called Cult Pens because of the infamy and you know how how much people people love this brand. Um, so the pen itself, I'll. It's just, it's just an awesome little EDC pen, and that's this is the this is the one pen that I get asked the most. You know, I carry the Parker a lot. I carry the um, the little four colours a lot. But when I carry this and I post pictures on Instagram or on Facebook, places like that, this is the one pen that people go, Morelander, what is that? That's awesome. So to go into some details, then um, it's constructed from plastic um, to look at it there is a metal version which I think they do a stainless steel version they also do a brass version with, oh, or is it copper sorry um, which looks absolutely amazing and I really like to get my hands on one of those but this the, the this sport version that we have here is the ballpoint pen and which I'll get back to in a second uh, and it is the red plastic version um, construction of it so it looks, th there's a little uh, bit on the end here, um, if I, might actually be metal, uh, like the same here on the end, I think that probably is metal. Um, for the refills, you unscrew the, the clicker, just a little bit, the whole mechanism comes out so you can see how easy this mechanism is actually made. Um, so there's the refill, which is the Coveco Soul One. Um, there you go. It's a nice little one. Um, the construction of this, if you were, if you did want to take this apart, you can do. So as this gets pushed down, which will then get pushed backwards through the inside or pushed against the inside, you can see that there's the spring, and then there is a little metal piece here at the end, which then um, allows the mechanism to turn. Um, the metal bit here if you squeeze these together and then oh, sorry if we pop that forward squeeze these together then you can get that off um you just yeah as i say you just need to put pressure on those and that'll come off there's the spring uh, and then there's two pieces of here which if you pull apart hard enough they yeah uh, they do come out as well super simple really super simple um, so changing the refills, this mechanism here where this is tensioned um, to not to open too far is, is done by this, so that also then pinches um, the refill in, and then you pop it in, a little bit of a twist, and job done. And that's it, it's super simple. Size-wise, uh, it is... 
where are we? Okay, so that's 106 millimeters, 10.5 10 .10 centimeters. Width wise, it is 14 millimeters. So that in um, inches is, ooh, it's harder to check. So that's four and one eighth of an inch. And then thickness is approximately five eighths of an inch, roughly. When compared to other pens, compared against the Parker, it's significantly shorter and quite a bit wider. But then when you look at things like the Big Four Colour, you can get them in the, the, the normal kind of standard version where they're, I suppose, the standard length of a pen, if you'd call it that. Um, but then you can also get these little demi ones, these little shorter ones. So width-wise, it's not that much bigger than one of these um, and not that much shorter, whereas compared to the standard four colour, it's, it's quite a little bit shorter um, and uh, roughly the same thickness. It's about, about the same. Writing with it is different, it's strange. You know at school, when you were at school and you used to get those, you know, you go away on holiday and you come back and you'd you bought one of your buddies one of those novelty pencils that was like ridiculously thick that you, you had difficulty jamming in the pencil sharpener. Um, it's a little bit like one of those and I think that's where the novelty factor comes from and people asking a lot about this because it just has that kind of retro novelty factor that you used to get when you'd go away and you'd buy one of those kind of quirky pencils and it looks like a pencil it looks exactly like a pencil um and that's uh, it's such it's such an awesome little pen i could probably talk for hours about just this one little pen it's great colors it comes in oh god loads of different colors black green, orange, white, blue, red, There's, there really are lots of them. Not particularly expensive as well, as you did, well, I don't know actually. So, the name, the brand, the pen, um, you might expect that it would be pretty expensive, but then on the other side you think, well actually, if it's, if it's an all plastic construction, this shouldn't be too expensive. So it comes in roughly around about 20 pounds or no sorry uh, about 14 to 15 pounds which is probably roughly the same with the dollar equivalent um, but with the form factor the quirkiness and just it's just fun it's such a nice little pen um, writing with it uh, that's right let's find the page that I did my last bit on It, you know, it writes really well. It's a nice, it's a nice pen. The ink that they use flows particularly well. Um, the ballpoint, although it doesn't specifically say what size, looking at similar ballpoints like the Parker pen, it's it's probably a, well, it's roughly a medium size. Um, they do different versions of this. So there is a mechanical pencil. Um, but there is also a pencil that has a thick lead to it, um, similar to more like a carpenter's pencil, um, which is also very nice, but I like the pen and I will definitely, definitely be getting more of these pens because, like I say, they're just cool, funky little pens. Um, is there anything that I've missed to discuss about it? Probably not really. I've probably spoken too much because it's a very, very simple pen and it's awesome. Um, yeah, that's it. I feel as though there was something more that I should say and there probably is, but at this moment in time, great pen and I love using it. As far as EDC wise is concerned, when you've got it in there and it's all in, it's all part and parcel of your EDC looks awesome there you go That's a cla that is a classic EDC dump maybe if I can get that okay so um, if you like the video um, 
Oh, I hope you like the video. I hope you like my content. You keep coming back for it. If you could give me a like, that'd be great. Um, also, if you'd like to receive notifications on future videos as they come available, I try to post every Sunday roughly around about the same time. Um, hit the subscribe button. Um, and if you'd like to know exactly as they're launched, then hit the, um, the notifications button as well. I don't know why it's two different buttons or two clicks. Um, and yeah, feel free to check out some of my other content and, um, and share it as well. Great, well I hope you all had a great weekend, I shall see you soon, stay safe, stay Marylander, and stay DC.